Welcome to the Peter McCallum Cancer Center. In January 2020, we asked over 100 Peter Mac patients how we could improve the patient experience for those coming into cancer imaging. With these videos, we hope to meet the need presented for better transparency around our procedures and show you what you can expect from your time here in cancer imaging. This video shows what it is like to have radionuclide therapy at Peter Mac. The Peter McCallum Cancer Center is conveniently accessible through public transport and there is paid parking on site. When you arrive at Peter Mac, our friendly receptionist staff will help you find where you need to go for your specific consult, scan or therapy. Hi, I'm Rod Hicks. I established our radionuclide therapy program around 30 years ago, so my team and I have a great deal of experience in treating patients like you. Nevertheless, we know it's quite scary coming in for treatment like this, and so we've made a short video to help you understand what you're going to confront when you have this treatment. There are several types of radionuclide therapy. All of them involve giving you a radioactive chemical which enters the bloodstream and targets the cancer wherever it is in the body with the hope of controlling the symptoms and growth of that cancer. Although the sequence and preparation for each of these therapies differs from patient to patient and depending on the kind of radionuclide therapy you're receiving, for each of them, we review your scans, your blood tests, and we'll discuss with you your suitability for the treatment, including the risks and benefits of that treatment. Throughout the course of this treatment, you'll have access to an expert team of nuclear medicine technologists, nurses and doctors who are ready and able to answer any questions that you might have about the treatment and to uh, assist you uh, in the preparation for this therapy. Before your therapy, you will have a pre-treatment consult with your doctor to discuss the treatment and the risks and benefits associated with it and address any questions or concerns you might have. Hi Sophie, good to see you again. Thanks, good to see you too. Thanks for coming in to discuss the treatment you're going to have tomorrow. Uh, since I saw you last, we've reviewed your scans and today we've checked your blood tests and everything's fine to go with the treatment we discussed. Uh, has anything changed for you in terms of symptoms since I saw you last? No, everything's been the same. That's great. On the day of your treatment, you will first be met by a nurse who will prepare you for your therapy prior to meeting with your nuclear medicine technologist and your doctor. My name's Victoria. I'm going to be the nurse looking after you today. Um, so I'll just talk you through a little bit about what we're going to do. To get ready for the therapy, a cannula or a small plastic tube will be placed in your arm a nurse may take some measurements of your blood pressure and temperature. Some patients will receive medicine or an infusion. Next, your technologist will prepare you for the therapy, which will be administered by a doctor. So, I'm just going to remind you what's going to happen. They will also run you through what you can expect from the therapy, and you will have an opportunity to ask any questions. Do you have any questions so far? Is it going to be painful? No, it will. you might find it a bit cold. During the time that you were receiving the treatment, Large shields are used by staff to reduce the amount of radiation they receive while working with you. And then once we have everything running, we can also get you a cup of tea or something like that, okay? Thank you. Your doctor will administer the treatment and this will take some time. So it's a good idea to bring a book or something to do with you to your appointment. So basically what I will do is I will inject this radiation uh, liquid Yep. into the tube here and then it will just slowly go into your body okay. okay the infusion will finish within a few hours and you will be reviewed regularly by your treatment team during this time there is also often more than one patient being treated at the same time once the therapy is complete your technologist will chat to you about coming in for the scan the next day how are you going sophie good how are you good so that's it all done these are just some instructions for tomorrow so it has some of your discharge instructions, so like Victoria said, you've got discharge medications to take. Also, I've given a time there when you need to come back tomorrow for your post-therapy scanning, and you'll also see the doctor straight after that for a consultation. The following day, you will come in for your post-therapy scan. Your technologist will talk you through what you can expect from the experience, and you will have the opportunity to ask any questions before the scan commences. How are you feeling since yesterday's treatment? Yeah, fine. Excellent. Okay, so I'm going to scan you from head to toe today. I'm going to bring the camera in. I'm going to pop you underneath first. The camera will come in and it's going to come down pretty close to you, okay? If you need me at all, I'm right next door. We can hear you in here as well. So just call out, my name's Gemma. If you need me, that's fine. The post-therapy scan shows exactly where the previous day's treatment has gone. 
It's important that you lie still and understand that although the machine will get quite close to you, you are never in danger and can always talk to your technologist, who is observing from an adjacent room. After the scan, you will have a meeting with your doctor to discuss how your treatment went. You will leave the meeting with a plan for when you will need to return to the Peter McCallum Cancer Center in the months ahead to follow up on your treatment. We hope this video was helpful in demonstrating what you can expect to experience. When coming to Peter Mac for radionuclide therapy, we asked our current therapy patients what they would like to tell new patients coming into cancer imaging, and this is what they had to say. There was a relaxed atmosphere and the staff members were very nice. They explained everything, reassured me and were very accommodating. When you're coming in to get treatment, you do need to be patient. Everyone is doing the best they can for you. So just sit down, read a book and relax. It can take a while. I also found the companionship really comforting. It's like we're all going through the treatment together. Please call us on the number provided if you have any questions. For more information, visit the provided links.